This week we are making a one pan cheesy smoked sausage pasta recipe. Super yummy, delicious for the entire family. And stay tuned, I'll give you tips to keep this kid friendly so the kiddos will love it too. All right, here are all the ingredients that you'll need to this one pan cheesy smoked sausage and pasta recipe. First, you're gonna need one tablespoon of olive oil. You'll need one pound package of sausage. I am using the Johnson Apple Chicken Sausage. This is really good, I definitely recommend it. You will need a half cup of chopped onion. You'll also need a tablespoon of minced garlic. I'm just using refrigerated, ready to go minced garlic. You'll need two cups of chicken broth. One 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes. You will need a half of cup of milk. And then eight ounces of dried pasta. This is a 16 ounce bag, so we're gonna go ahead and use half of this bag. You will need some salt and pepper, as well as some crushed red pepper flakes. And for um, topping, you can top it with some green onions. I do suggest it. Go ahead and heat your pan on medium heat. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add the one tablespoon of the olive oil to our pan. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in our diced half cup of onion. If you want this to be a kid-friendly recipe and your kids do not like onions, just go ahead and leave them out. Um, if there's something that they do like, maybe like peppers or I don't know, something mushrooms, you could always go ahead and add those into your pan. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in the sausage. Again, I'm using the turkey, uh, the chicken apple sausage. So I just went and cut it up into pieces. We're gonna go ahead and keep this in the pan and cook it for five minutes. All right, we are about three to four minutes in. If you love onions, at this point, the onions are smelling heavenly. Um, it just smells really delicious. So we're gonna keep this going for another minute or so. And then we're gonna add in our, the rest of our seasonings into the pot. All right, so we're ready to go ahead and add in the other ingredients. Ingredients that go in the pot now are a tablespoon of minced garlic. Yes, a full tablespoon. So if you're not into garlic that much, you can always add half of, you know, a half a tablespoon. Add as much as you want. Tweak the recipe for your liking. Then you wanna add in a quarter teaspoon of the crushed red pepper flakes. This I always measure because I never wanna to add too much, especially when the kids are eating. Next is, I believe, a half a teaspoon of um, salt and pepper. Yes, a half a teaspoon. This, I honestly, I just go ahead and eye it. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and stir this up. We are gonna continue to cook this on medium or low, depending on how crazy your pan is going for another two minutes. All right, so here is what we are looking at two minutes later. Not much going on here, but we're ready to add in the rest of our ingredients. So next you wanna go ahead and add in two cups of the chicken broth. Um, two cups would be half of this container if you're getting the 32 ounce size. Um, a savvy tip is it's half of it, so you have half for another recipe. Either you can double this recipe or you can put this in the refrigerator. You have seven to 10 days to use this up, so you can use it with another recipe. Never let it go to waste. I've done that before and there's so many recipes that um, require chicken broth, so you can really make some delicious recipes. So here's our chicken broth. Next, add in a half a cup of milk. I am adding in a half a cup of almond milk. Next, you wanna add in your can of diced tomatoes. Now, I do drain my diced tomatoes. I don't drain them like bone dry, but I go ahead and drain the can a little bit since we have so many other liquids going on in this recipe. So you can see it's still, there's still some liquid in there. 
And then we are also gonna add in our dried pasta. Now I am using a 16 ounce bag. This is the penne pasta. It is organic. Um, I did grab this from Brandless. If you guys haven't tried out Brandless, check the link in the description box if you eat gluten-free. Vegan, they definitely have some cheap, affordable options. So I went ahead and I got half the bag here. So I'm gonna go ahead and gently pour those into the mix. So we're gonna go ahead and stir this around, give it a really good stir, mix all of those flavors up. We're gonna wait till it comes to a boil, and then we're going to cover it and cook for 15 minutes. So we are about over halfway into the 15 minute mark of cooking and I'm just gonna take it, the lid off and show you how everything is mixing in well. It's really important to keep it covered because you don't want hard noodles. That is the worst part of pasta and uncooked noodles. So before we are done with this, we're gonna test our noodles and make sure that they are cooked well. Yum city here, everything smells so, so good. Um, you can see with my recipe, not a ton of meat in there. If you wanna add more, um, some of the sausages come with five links. That one was just four, but that works plenty for us. I'm gonna add in a full cup of shredded cheese. Here I have the Mexican blend. Just go ahead and add that in and let that, mix that up and let that all melt in. guys and there it is a one pan cheesy smoked sausage and pasta recipe now if you're not a cheese person again you can always tweak recipes don't be afraid to do that because you're gonna find that you are gonna make them the way that you like it so if you don't like cheese leave out the cheese it still tastes delicious what I do though is um, after it's done cooking and I've plated it since my kids do not like green onions I just go ahead and add a little bit of green onion for a little bit of taste and it is amazing. Super easy, savvy recipes. That is all you're gonna see on this channel because that is the kind of gal that I am. So if you enjoyed this weekly video, definitely give it a thumbs up and check out some of the other videos that I posted here and have a great day.